批市民喺回归六周年参加七一大游行，主办单位话人数超过五十万。游行以反对廿三还政于民为旗号。好想特首，打到中华，好想特首。民阵发起嘅游行喺三号风球之下由维园出发。游行期间有近八个示威者喺铜锣湾崇光百货附近，想直接横过怡和街。回归十三周年，发起七一游行，争取落实双普选，争取普选十二万人。抗争到底，政改落闸已经走进落闸示威战争当中。What Hong Kong meant to China really changed. There's an old saying that when the Daoguang Emperor, at the time of the Opium War, when he learned that Hong Kong had been lost, uh, he said something like, "You know, how could this have possibly happened?" And then he turned to one of his advisors and said, "Well, wait a minute. Where is Hong Kong?" Um, and I'm sure it didn't quite happen this way, but uh, Hong Kong really did not matter much. After 1949, uh, Joseph Stalin apparently once rated uh, Mao Zedong, saying something like, "You're helping to end colonialism around the world that you tolerated in your own backyard." But of course, uh, Mao Zedong and his colleagues realized that Hong Kong could be a, a window to the world. Uh, during the Korean War, it was a place that goods were smuggled in that the Chinese could not get otherwise because of the UN and the US boycott. In the 80s, the big thing was that Hong Kong was contributing so mightily to Deng Xiaoping's open door policy. And all these factories that were being built overseas, all this Hong Kong money that was being pumped in. Probably the big difference now is that uh, people in the PRC would not see it this way. If you want to stay in front line, you may attack the by the pepper spray and and the tin can by the police. Please protect yourself. Stay calm. Don't push. Don't fall. Don't stand on people. No violence. And that way, 
you can continue what has so far been a protest that has brought a lot of credit on the protesters. <笑>我不覺得我們真的可以做到很大的實質效果 seeing with Occupy Central is that it's not any one particular cause. It's a lot of uh, pent-up frustrations. After the signing of the Joint Declaration, there was a lot of promise in China. 
the hope and the assumption was always that the PRC itself would be changing a lot and that the PRC would be moving along the road to some sort of democracy. And of course, a lot of that changed in, in June 1989 with, with, with Tiananmen. I think it really crystallized in many people's minds the fact that Hong Kong was going to be a, become a very, very different place. I would say that there is a lot of discussion in the world and it is very difficult to do a completely complete and to take it out of the way and to take it out of the way and to take it out of the way. We hope to make it easier or to make it easier 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 每一個人都有自己嘅責任去參加呢個嘅誒運動啊！誒、呃，即係雖然自己一個人嘅力量好似唔係好大，甚至有好多人話誒呢樣嘢係可能係暴力啊！但係我覺得每個人只要肯出一分力都係一件好積少成多咯。如果我今日唔行出嚟嘅話，我輸硬咯。咁但係哪怕我就係得個零點五 percent 嘅機會，我行出嚟，我可能攞得到咧。我覺得香港人應該要睇長遠啲咯。Sometimes what we forget is that this is part of decolonization. In many ways, Hong Kong's decolonization has been remarkably successful. It's been remarkably smooth. There were no bloodbaths. We had nothing like we had, for example, after the、uh, the creation of an independent India, or the many、uh, decolonization movements in, in Africa. Right, nothing like that. But still, at the end of the day, Hong Kong has become. Part of China,、um, and I just don't quite see how anybody can really shape this apart from the, the government in Beijing itself.